I want you to predict the next step in this pattern. And to do that, we're gonna have to notice a few key features. We might start by saying, oh, these two diamonds, and yes, diamond is an official shape in my book. These stay the same no matter what. And so I bet the next step in our pattern is also going to have two diamonds. The next part that seems relatively easy to me is what's going on in this bottom left-hand corner. In step one here, I had a one by one set of blue squares. In step two, I had a two by two set set of blue squares. In step three, I had a three by three set. And so I think each time, whatever the step number is, I'm going to have that number by that number in terms of blue squares. That is in the next step, step four, I think I'm going to have a set of four by four blue squares. The next bit here is probably the hardest. I've got these circles in both the upper left hand and lower right hand corners. I guess let's take those one at a time. So in the upper left hand corner, I had one column of two green circles for step one, two columns of two green circles for step two, three columns of two green circles for step three. And so I bet I'll have one, two, three, four columns of these green circles in step four. And then to finish things out, it looks like I had just one single circle in step one, then two of those circles in step two and three of those circles in step three. So I think this lower right hand corner will be finished off with four circles in step two. Given all that work, between these two options, I'm pretty confident it's this option on the left, and so I'm going to check my work, and we got it right. I'm doing this on brilliant.org, brilliant.org slash polymathematic, if you'd like to check that out yourself. What is the height in step five? Well, I think the only thing that's changing the height is the square in the lower left corner, and then that kind of column of green circles in the lower right-hand corner. So step five should just have one additional row over the six rows that we already had in step five. Four. So I think I'm going to say seven here. Yes. Meaning in general, the overall height of the pattern seems to always be two bigger than whatever the step number is. So I'm going to select here N plus two. Oh, and when I put it all together, it's actually just one big rectangle. The base length in each step is just one bigger than the step number. In step one, it was two units long. At the base in step two, it was three units long. Step three was four units long. Step four, five units long. And so in general, step N should be N plus one units long at the base. This means that the total number of shapes is actually just going to be the product of the n plus one base times the n plus two height, which is of course this option on the right here. And the shapes are actually just giving us a way to keep track of those different items. An n by n square, a two by n square, an n by one column, and then of course the two diamonds in that upper right hand corner. Brilliant.org, again, thank you. Check them out, brilliant.org slash polymathematic.